In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your own email funnel within Flowdesk. It is super easy and it can seem overwhelming and complicated, but trust me, I'm going to walk you through the whole process and make it super easy and you can do it right with me side by side. So watch this video and then watch it again and pull up Flowdesk. If you do want to sign up, I do have a link down below. I have used MailChimp for years and I recently converted to Flowdesk and it is a hundred times easier and way less expensive. And I absolutely am so excited that I transitioned over to Flowdesk. So first what you want to do is you want to have your freebie. So this would be your free download or your lead magnet, whatever it is create that and have that idea in your head. So this is a free business budget that you can download. And then what we're going to do is, this is the, the one that I already have. There's some things that I've learned that can kind of make this easier as you're going. So when you go to new workflow, they have all of these templates here for you. You can do a five day a sales sequence, a welcome sequence, a nurture sequence, all of these different sequences or you can start from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from scratch and I'm going to name this test funnel and then save it. So first what we're gonna do is we have to add the trigger. So this is the trigger of when someone enters this and puts in their name and email address, they get added to the trigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our trigger and then it's gonna come over to the right Choose a trigger, begin this workflow when a subscriber is added to a segment. That's what we want. And then we can choose to check the segment. So I already have business budget, but I'm gonna create a new one and we're gonna call it test. So now that is the first part of the funnel is the, the subscriber begins when they enter in the test funnel. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a the next part of the sequence. So if we want, we can do an email that sends right away as soon as they put in their name and email address. We can do a time delay. So if you wanted to wait maybe 24 hours, you could do that. Or you can do a condition, so based on an action. So whether they choose this or that, then you do it. Or they take an action. So maybe when they bought something that you could do that as well. So you could even set this up with your site where when they purchase a product, then that would be the trigger and then it would send the email like a thank you, here's your purchase type of thing. So what we're gonna do is just an email. So then we can do over here, duplicate an existing email or create a new. So I'm gonna create a new email. And so this is ones that are already here that you can choose from. There are so many different templates, different things that you can do. So let's do this one. So then this is what its setup looks like. And then we can customize it. So you can add your logo up here. When we set up our Flowdesk account, if you watched that video previously, I'll have it linked up at the iCard. It'll have your logo up top. I personally just put my, my headshot there and then you can customize all of this. You can customize the fonts. You can change what it says. You can do hi print, whatever, whatever you want to do. You can upload photos. You can add text all of that. It'll have your socials down here. So say we're happy with this and then you can also if you wanted to click this little plus button and then you can add a layout, you can add a logo, a video, Instagram, linked or text and you can then change this. You can change the font color. These here are my brand colors, these two down below so I could change the font color, all of that right in here. So say we are happy with this one. So then we're going to go up in the right, finish. Now what we want to do is do a trigger or a time delay. So we're going to do time delay and we're going to wait one day. So we want to wait until the next day, but it gets more than that. I also want to do another time delay and I only want to send these on certain days of the week. So I only want to send during the weekdays, not on weekends because people don't look at their emails as much during the weekend and it's not the best. Then I'm going to add another time delay because I want these to go out at a certain time. I want it to go out at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, when we set up our Flowdesk account, we put in our time zone so it knows that it's 10 o'clock my time. Then 
what we're going to do is we're going to do another email. And what I like to do is I have in my email, I have this template that I've created and it's a funnel email. So I can use this now and I can customize it and come over to the right and hit edit. So now this is, has everything that I want in my funnel. And then I can just go here and add a text box and I can add my test text here for the funnel. And then this is down below. And so I can do this of, um, I hope that you are enjoying these tips, blah, blah, blah. Then what I can do down here is after that I'm rooting for you, Kelly, I can add another text and do over here. And I want it to be on the left. I don't want it to be centered. I can do PS, um, don't forget to use coupon code dreamer for $15 off. And then so this we can also do left as well. And then dreamer we can do the pink. And then what we can also do is we can link it. So I'm going to click this, highlight it and link it. And then I'm just going to put in the website. So HTTPS dreamer to profitable.com. So now when they click it, it's clickable and it's going to bring them to that site. So then what we can do is finish. Oh, and another thing that I love about Flowdesk is the first name tags. So this is something that MailChimp didn't have where you put in their first name tag and this we can just put, if you don't have first name, then put friend. Whereas before with MailChimp, if I didn't have their first name, it was just the first name code, which looked terrible. So I can do it here I too. I can do at, I can do first name, last name, email address. What are the other ones here? First name, last name, or email address. So I could also do something like um, your account is under, the, here is under at, and I can do email address. So if email address is under, then I can say is under your registered email address and then insert. So that way it'll look good either way if they have an email address or not, but that way they can say, hey, this is what we have your email address in. And then we can go from there. So we can hit finish. Now let's add another trigger or another time delay. So time delay, we want it to wait this time let's wait three days. We don't want to overwhelm them. So we're going to wait three days. Now we could go right to the next email, but I like adding the other delays. So we're going to choose a certain day of the week. So we're only going to have it going out during the weekdays and another time delay. And we are going to do a certain time of day and we'll do 10 AM. Then we can do email. We can do duplicate existing. So we're going to make a copy of the one that we already have. And then we can edit on the right. Then we can add in our text again. So we can add text. Then if we want to hit this plus again, then maybe we want to embed a video and we can do a video here. And this, you would just put the URL of the video there for it to go from YouTube. Then we can add a button. The buttons are really cool. So buttons you can do, um, there you can do in let's do all caps enroll today then we can do field color so i want it to be the coral color then i can do the border in a different color i could do the border in the teal i could do border in black to kind of have it pop i can do a rounded i can do all different types so let's do i like that one so let's do border Let's do no border. Okay, so then we can do font. We can change the font in it as well. Then we can also link it. So I can link it to 
https it's not that it matters but dreamer to profitable.com so that way when they click the button then it will go there another cool thing that you can do is you can do a where is the button button and then we can do download here let's do this type of button this time and then we can do a file so we can upload a pdf we can upload a excel file whatever it is for them to get their freebie and they just download it there so it'll be right there super easy you don't have to have like an awkward attachment anything like that it's a super easy download here file and let's finish this then let's add another time delay so let's do this one we can do two days time delay certain day of the week time delay time of day we want it to be 10 a.m and you're just going to repeat this process so now let's do our closing email so let's do uh, create a new email and let's see here and they have these different ones as well that you can choose from some different ideas let's see share news let's see Let's do this one, customize. Then you can put your name here. You can do change all of these, add your own photos. You can upload an image to make it here, upload an image there, do everything that you want to do. Another cool thing that you can do is send a test. So that way you can see what it's gonna look like in your email as well. So you can send yourself a test as you go. So you can kind of format it to see how it's gonna look on desktop. You can also do a desktop preview, and then you can see mobile, how it's gonna look, which is so cool that you can see right there the formatting. Is the font too small? Does it look good? Does it not look good? Does it look squished? All of that right in here. So that's what these two buttons are. So then let's finish it. So here is the funnel. So we have the trigger, the segment, the test, and then the first email. It's gonna wait one day. And this one is because it's segment, there's no, um, there's no time delay here, it's sent immediately. As soon as I sign up, this one is going. Or you can wait an hour, you can do whatever you want. So we're gonna do the time delay, then the second email, time delay, the third email, time delay, and fourth email. So this would be four email sequence. Then we're going to publish it. So your workflow is now published. So now it is good to go to start bringing people in, and that is here, the test funnel. You can also see analytics. Now there isn't any analytics because we just create it, but it'll show you all the details of the totals, active people that completed it, the number of opens, the number of clicks, the overall open rate, or the click rate, open rate, all of that. It'll show you all of those stats, the bounces, unsubscribe, mark spam, all of that right here in the analytics in the details, which is so cool. So again, if you want to sign up for Flowdesk, I have a link down below for you, which gives you a lifetime 50% off, which is so awesome. And if you want to learn how to build your own business, I have a brand new entrepreneur course called Dream to Profitable that helps walk you through how to create a successful online business, whether that be through YouTube or blogging or coaching calls or freelance writing or copywriting, all of that. It'll walk you all through that of what to do to start a profitable business down below in the description box. And if you use code tutorials, then you will get $15 off. <laughs>